priest of the Celtic Christian Church. So, welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. As always, we'll begin with the sign of the cross and then take a breath together. I'll share a brief reading and then we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Another deep breath and off we go to our cup of joe. So here we go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take a nice deep And we take a deep breath to bring us back to this present moment, right? To the, to the absolute here and now. Okay, let's do it again. This is a reading from the letter of Paul to the community in Rome. So it's uh, the letter to the Romans, chapter 5. Beloved family, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might, might find courage to die. But God proves God's love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And this, however bewildering, is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I guess the main thing to take away today is that we are loved, deeply loved, and that hope is always alive in us through the power of God. And if you don't have a Bible handy, you can always just Google Romans 5, and there'll be multiple translations to look at. And like everything in an ancient document from another time, another culture, some of the ideas might seem strange. But the overall feeling, let that overall feeling just wash over you. Especially now. I'm in New York, so... Um, we are deeply concerned about one another in the world with the pandemic. And yet, yet there is hope when we know that somehow Jesus, who came as a demonstration of God's love, is somehow still with us and will be with us through this time and always. So, hope that you, my, one of my hopes is that you will be blessed, protected, and know somehow deep in your heart the love and the hope that the Holy Spirit gives to us. And we don't have to be perfect. That's one thing that I take from this. <laughs> that love is here and with us. As we are with all our stinky imperfections. Would you please join me in the Lord's Prayer, the traditional English version? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Take another deep breath together. 
Die Torah's friends. In the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay well.